Stand by for action. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to some more Tales from the Bike Shed. <laughs> it's Saturday the 13th of April. It's a week after the great adventure. Um, I was going to go out for a mountain bicycle ride um, this morning, but my knees, my left knee still hurting after the bog incident. So I just thought I'd rest it up rather than knacker it even more. So it's a beautiful day, as you can see. Sun's out, plucky bomber's out. I'm going to do a little bit, but we're going to do a little ride, a bit of a uh, a film set tour ride. Um, I'm not sure if if anybody was, anybody of a certain age might have seen this, but the uh, the film American Werewolf in London. I think it was 1981. Bit of a classic. Um, it, the opening scenes were set in in North Yorkshire on moors, but they were actually filmed in Powys by Hay and Y by the Black Mountains and a little village up by Glazebury. So we're going to see. A couple of the locate, well, three of the locations where um, the film was filmed, and yeah, then go for a coffee in the in in the granary in Hay and Y. So yeah, bloody beautiful day, and I forgot to say when I did my um, birthday ride on the fourth of April, I actually became a pensioner. Can you believe that? A bloody pensioner at sixty, because my uh, my army pension kicked in. So I'm a pensioner on a mountain bike. <laughs> anyway. So we've got the plucky bomber out. I've taken the uh, I've taken the oven gloves off because when I did my Ludlow ride, it wasn't as warm as this. And my hands were bloody roasting, so we've taken we've taken them off, and it's all good. So the oven gloves are off, and I've just been downtown to do a bit of shopping, pick some stuff up, and it's surprising what a difference it makes when you haven't got these on. You can you can feel the controls better. You can operate the indicators better. Yeah, it's all good. Um, what else is happening? Got my new motorcycle gloves. These are work gloves from Timu, about two quid. Trendy black, orange and grey. It's all about the look. And I'm going to be trying some earplugs. Um, I got these made when I was in the band. You can hear stuff, but it filters out all the, the big noise. So I have got a bit of tinnitus, tinnitus from my rock and roll days. So I'm going to see how they go. They're made spe specifically for my ear, moulded for my ears. So. Right then, without further ado, let's go and do the film set review. Right, the weather was supposed to be sunny all day. I'm hoping it's going to stay that way, but uh, looking where we're going straight ahead, it looks rather grey. Let's uh, keep us fingers crossed, eh? Otherwise it'd be like a scene from the film. All rainy and horrible. Stick to the, stick to the path, lads. Signposter. Crossing over the River Y now. Hay on Y, eight miles. What an ugly dog. Hello. All right, we're in England now. We are now in Powys, Wales, Sester, Sestershire. And this is Hay on Y. Castle over there to my right, just behind the houses. That's now open to the public after a lot of work. Big car park. On my left, there's the castle. You can just see the top of it there. Grey clouds.
So we're going to head through, we're going to head out of uh, Hay on Y now, up to Hay Bluff to get to the first two filming locations. Yeah, real nice place, Hay and White. Very famous for books. Come on, mate, how much room do you want? Get a bloody golf through there. Right, this is where we turn off now. We start making our way up to Hay Bluff. Forest Road. The road up to Hay Bluff is proper little single track as you can see gotta be really careful traditional cider This is where we start to head up now to Hay Bluff. All right, boys, how's it going on the Gravel bikes? We've got ourselves a Jaguar in front. Those goddamn English people call it a, a Jag or a Jaguar, but it's actually called a Jaguar. Thank you. now from the first filming location that's hay bluff over there in the mist which you can't see which is a bit of a pain really because that's quite uh, that'd be quite nice to see some of that because you see that in the uh, some of the shots of the film right so this is where the lads have first dropped off in the uh, in the transit pickup with all the sheep in the back <laughs> So this is the location where the two lads are first dropped off. Uh, they're in the back of the transit van with all the sheep. Transit pickup with all the sheep and they get dropped off here. There was a signpost here saying, I forget where, the, where it was signed there. But going this way it was East Proctor and that's where they wanted to get to. So this is where they were dropped off. And then when, they are, when they're doing the filming you can see Hay Bluff. And you can see the trackway going up the side. But unfortunately it's covered in mist but you have to take my word for it so this is location number one they get out the van with all the sheep and then they start to walk to east proctor which is down there now so we are going to go to the location where they film the two lads walking from this point so yeah american werewolf in london tour location number one and the driver of the van goes, all the best lads, stick to the roads. <laughs> so there we go, peeps. Location number one, American Werewolf in London, where the two guys are dropped off from the sheep van. Right, let's go to location number two. Right, we're leaving that location now. We've got some bicyclists. Right, we're leaving the drop-off location now and we're going to go to the place where it films the two lads walking from where they've just been dropped off which is quite strange because it's up here by Gospel Pass It's Lord Hereford's Knob over there That's what it's actually called, Lord Hereford's Knob So this is the section of road we see the two lads walking away from the van after they've been dropped off at that uh, junction, bearing in mind they were dropped off over there <laughs> and they're walking down here now, which is a bit bizarre. I don't know why they did that, but this is the walking location. Right then, so now we're going to move on to location number three, which is the pub, the Slaughtered Lamb, which is over that way in a place called Crickadarn. 
Right then, let's get on. Yeah, it does seem a bit strange that they, uh, how they did, how they worked out the filming. But I'm sure there's method in the madness, but yeah, they were walking down here after they were dropped off up there, heading for East Proctor. Ah, sun's coming out now. We might be able to get a shot of Hay Bluff at the uh, at the junction. Right, we're approaching the junction again, and Hay Bluff, uh, the uh, the cloud has uh, moved from Hay Bluff, so we'll get a picture with the bike in the background. So this is where the boys were dropped off. Again. <laughs> All right. So we're back at the drop-off point, and we're here again because Hay Bluff has cleared. And when you see the clip from the film, you'll see that trackway going up the side there in the background. So there you go. All right, final shot of the uh, the drop-off point. Hay Bluff, all nice and clear now. You can see the trackway going up in the background when they get dropped off there. Would have been a signpost. East Proctor is down that way. So we're now going to head for where they filmed the location, where they filmed the bit of the... Uh, when he went to the pub, the Slaughtered Lamb. And it's in a little village called Crickadarn. Right then, let's go. So this area is called the Black Mountains. And it's all part of the Brecon Beacons. Really nice part of the world. It's a bit grim when the weather's not good. And it's nice that I'm not going to get involved in any bog action on this little adventure. We've got it to the extreme river crossing. Awesome on the C90. Two with waterfall action. Wonderful. Splosh. Excellent. I've changed my gloves, by the way, because the other ones were a bit cold when we were on the top, so... I got my good old faithful Aldi cycling glasses, which I've had for bloody years. They're bloody lovely. We're approaching the main road now, the A483. I think this is Falindry, or is it Three Cots? I'm not sure, Falindry or Three Cots. We're going to turn left onto this, and then we're going to turn right on the 4079 for Bilth Wells. Let's go. Yeah, this is Three Cots. up on it over here on the Bilth Wells Road 4079 A470 we're going to be turning off the uh, 4079 in a minute to be signposted cricket on yeah this is the next turning coming up on the left and I think in the film when the Galads get dropped off on the signpost, I think one of the signs is for Irwood, which is this place here. Right, I think this is the turning here, this little one. Yeah, Andy boy. signed in the film one of the signs on the signpost pointing away from East Proctor all right so this is us dropping into Crickadarn now aka East Proctor and the uh, the place they used for the pub is actually a private residence Right, this is it. Typically there's a van parked outside the White House. Right, so here we are, Crickadon. 
So the White House there, that is a private residence and that was used as the, uh, the slaughtered lamb. And then just there, there's the church where later on in the film, the, is, it, is it the doctor comes to find out what's going on and there's a guy stood here in the rain and he goes to speak to him and then he says he will change and then the Brian Glover character he stood just behind the van going that's enough that's enough <laughs> and in the film here there was a statue of like a angel of death type thing so there we go that is it, the, uh, the slaughtered lamb. And the inside of the slaughtered lamb was filmed in a pub called the Black Swan in Surrey. So there you go, folks. This is East Proctor. All right, last shot of East Proctor, AKA Crickadon. There's the slaughtered lamb. That's where it's enough, that's enough. <laughs> and there was a statue here for the film and it's all good. Right then, let's go to Hay and White and have a cup of coffee in the granary. This is us back in Hay and White now, we've done a big circle. And then we'll go and look to grab us a coffee in the, uh, in the granary, which is a really nice place. Hopefully there'll be uh, room at the inn. Right, the granary's just down here on the right by the clock tower. Hopefully I can chuck the bike somewhere and park it nicely out of the way. It'll do. There's the clock tower, hay and white. Let us cup of coffee and a slice of cherry and almond cake and we are gone. Bridge over the River Wye. That's looking up to Hay and Wye. That's looking down to Hereford Way. All right, clearly it's not a toll bridge. Excellent, that's handy to know. Right, let's have a little bit of a speed test. Visor down. Let's go and get us some gasoline from the gas station in Hereford. Three pounds fifty five pence, two point four nine litres. Right, the cycle computer is showing. 
76 and a half miles. Right then, we're back. I hope you enjoyed that, folks. Something different. The uh, American Werewolf in London Hay on Y tour. <laughs> yeah, that's been, I've been meaning to do that for a while, so it seems we've got the good weather. Why not? Nice to get out on the bike, and it's bloody great that little bike. Absolutely such good fun to ride. So it's showing uh, the, oh the calories I've burnt is 7176 and miles is 77.38 miles that's yeah, not bad uh, two and a half is it two and a half or three and a half liters of fuel so yeah all good um, interestingly when you're on the road and you get the uh, the people on the the big motorcycles they don't even acknowledge your existence when they see this about two out of all the people I saw give you the little nod. All the rest just like, nah, not interested, mate. You're not on a proper bike. To you people, I say, fork you. Right then, um, from uh, me, this is me saying goodbye. Hopefully get out next week on the uh, mountain bicycle. We'll see what the weather's doing. And from this old pensioner, I'm going to say like, subscribe, share the love, drop a comment until the next random content. In a bit, peeps.